U.S. Senator Heidi Heitkamp, Grand Forks leaders, and Russian experts are talking about ways the city can keep the United States safe. KVRR's Morgan Parrish has more. A CNN report says both Democrats and Republicans want answers to a possible association between the Trump campaign and Russia. President Trump took his thoughts to Twitter, saying this whole investigation is a witch hunt. Since then, the House intelligence investigation has been derailed. The Russians are liable. The Russians are responsible. Senator Heitkamp also says that it's not in our best interest to jump to conclusions before hearing the full investigative report. Prejudges what this means? I think you're foolish. The North Dakota senator says Russia is building up military forces in the Arctic region and thinks this is a growing concern for national security. But Grand Forks, a city with a population of just over 60,000 people, may be just what the United States needs to be secure. With advanced UAS drone technology, Senator Heitkamp says it makes North Dakota the perfect area to prepare for possible threats north of the border. The UAS would be very useful, you know, if that could be employed in the Arctic, you know, for weather observations. The Grand Forks Air Force Base also has a play in this. The nearly 13,000 foot runway gives American aircrafts a close vantage point to monitor the Arctic. The ability to take off from North Dakota and do testing, whether that's to move towards the Arctic or here locally, I think offers an array of opportunities. Hike Camp says our greatest tool in keeping the peace is by setting clear boundaries and understanding what we're facing as a nation. Recognizing that Russia is an existential threat to this country. We know that here because we're on the front line of protecting against that threat. Senator Heitkamp also says she is confident the city of Grand Forks can be instrumental in maintaining stability from outside threats the nation may face. Morgan Parrish, KVRR Local News. Senator Heitkamp also held a community meeting with leaders at the Grand Forks Air Force Base and discussed ways to increase the strength of potential Arctic missions in the